The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you with me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's good. He's he's pretty he's pretty good at what he does. Pretty good guy. Uh, good guy. Yeah. Uh, but ladies and uh, gentlemen, please welcome back a very funny comedian. Please welcome back Mr. Mike Baldwin. Uh, I don't have a song. No. All right. Hey everybody. There we go. That's what you want. I mean, I, I don't know what else to do. But anyway, sounds like incredible. Maybe home. reprogram your keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we had uh, we had the original crew last week. For episode 300. Yeah, man, I got bumped. Uh, hey, dude. Hey, man, I was part of that 300. I yeah, didn't even probably, get a call. Well, so. well, you're just extra. Yeah. But the whole thing is, <laughs> that was the old crew. It was crew. an awesome episode. That was the old crew. It How did it go? It was a really good episode. It went really well. Yeah. It, went really well. yeah. it was really good. Anytime Jeremy's on the show, it's a good show. It's always a good show. But this is... I was waiting for you to say something <laughs> shitty. No. I was like, wait, you just straight up complimented uh, Derek? <laughs> Jer- I didn't say anything about Derek. He didn't Derek. say anything about <laughs> I Derek. said Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. okay. It's always yeah. good when Jeremy's on the show. Yes. I was just going to say that was the old crew. This has kind of become the new crew. Like, uh, this is the new crew. Uh, do we have a sound? Uh, no, because you didn't reprogram your phone. Oh, okay. No, that sounds yeah. like the same sound as the old crew. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no, but no. Uh, that that has been the OG crew since we started this episode or this this whole podcast. But this has been, it seems like, the new crew because you guys are always the most available. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with our talent level or wow. how many fans we Man. have or anything like that. Are you available? Uh huh. All uh, right. No, you're I part got, of the crew. I got nothing else going on. You'll see. We got we got like fourth Say grade the word I'll be there fourth grade best friend rules yeah it's yeah. like your best friends with the guy who lives closest to you <laughs> yeah, yeah right yeah pretty much. exactly <laughs> yeah uh, but anyways ladies and gentlemen welcome back into another episode of the laughing on the sidelines podcast this is a comedy podcast yeah. Jesus Christ no it is okay all right it is we'll try. Uh, where, no we like, where, where we like to make the most inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast. We like to use foul language and uh, offend people who are very easily offended. So if that's you, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. But the we, energy on this show today yeah, dude, is yeah. fucking I'm, palpable. I'm, I'm holding dicks as you're talking about <laughs> yeah. that. Smart. I have no voice. Like, the voice is there, but it's not quite there. Is it ever going to come back? I I don't know. I think I have COVID. I think you have something. You want me to give it to you? I mean, I want you to give it to me. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure sure you do. You meant like... That's the affirmative, sir. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. No. You're going to have to... You're going to need a step stool and a pair of grippy socks, but we can get this done. not, (laughs) sir. You crazy bastard. But anyways, we have a great uh, episode for you guys this week. We have hot topics. I can't sing. Wow. Yeah, that, was, yeah, that, that was, was really bad. Yeah. Hot man. topics. All that's right. a little that, better. That's a little better. Okay. I like that. That was probably the best one yeah. I've ever heard, to Thanks, be honest. Man. Appreciate it. Uh, we have Never Have I Ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But before we kick the entire episode off, we want to tell you guys what's been going on with us because we know you give a shit. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I they, do. They really don't. No, they care. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kick this off with Mike Baldwin. Uh-oh. 
Hey, guys. Not JP, because JP had an excellent week, and I know it. Okay. And you're not sure about me. I'm not sure about you. I didn't. Oh. Uh, (laughs) I didn't have a bad week. I have my first. It's October 6th today, and I officially have my first red tomato on my indoor tomato plant. Red tomato. Yeah, like I, I've had a like you have like you legitimately have like red tomatoes planted in your apartment. Uh, I planted a tomato plant that has been growing since. Which would be tomatoes, correct? Okay, and I a few of them grew and they've been green for the last week or two, and now one of them has turned red. My first tomato of the season. Yeah. And it's October. But the the hope is that they'll just continue to grow year round. And I'll have tomatoes all every day for every meal. That's spectacular, man. And I'm gonna make sauces and and buy canning equipment and stuff. I'm so proud of you. I did like I cannot tell you how proud of you that I I am. I'm I'm getting teary eyed. I've it's rare that I plant things successfully. And it's really not that successful because it's fucking October and I have conspiracy one theories and everything. Just can't plan. I was enough. really, I was really worried when you were going to have me go second, but I'm pretty sure I can top <laughs> in, indoor tomatoes. I did some shows in Nebraska also. Oh, oh, those yeah. were fun. Oh, I I'm a, in trouble. I yeah. had a good time. I made the mistake. There's a thing going on in uh, Nebraska and South Dakota called the junk jaunt, and everybody in us off of a certain old highway or whatever they all have garage and yard sales the same day oh and oh, okay so our show that usually has like 200 people had like 20 and i was like where is everybody and they were like today's the junk jaunt and i was like well, how the fuck am i supposed to know that people were like scoffing at me like can't believe you booked a show during the jaunt and i was like <laughs> dude i don't know what the fuck is going on and <laughs> random nebraska towns at any given time was this at the gas station the filling station oh yeah Yeah. update on that it was not an old it was very much just a place in a strip mall i did have there were more than one person though that came up to me and said that they came because i mentioned it on this show oh i'm sure so they came out and that was pretty cool it was as good as it could have been there was a table of dudes, like eight dudes, probably in their 50s or 60s, and they were all there together and just not giving a fuck about comedy. <laughs> and I was kind of shitting on them the whole time. And then afterwards, I found out that the reason they were all there was because one of their best friends from high school died recently, and they all got together to go to his funeral. Oh, and so I was well, like the light of their weekend or whatever. And I was just the whole time, I was like, you disrespectful them. fucks. Yeah, <laughs> can't believe you guys aren't paying attention. What do you got going on that's better than this? Tommy died, man. <laughs> yeah, but nobody did that until after the show. So He's dead. He's not coming back. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. What would you do, JP? <laughs> <laughs> I went to Nebraska to a comedy show and, uh, and killed a man. Ten, brought 10 of my friends and killed a man. Thanks. Yeah. Good God. Without you, we'd have had no crowd. Correct. So. You're welcome. No, I haven't seen JP in like a, a like two a weeks month or something. Yeah, no, it feels it feels yeah, it, it feels weird. Yeah, it feels uh, weird. I bet. Are you doing okay? No, no. no. Oh, okay. surprisingly enough, right. I'm not. Uh, we had a roommate that just decided to stop paying his fair share of the bills. Oh, mm, yeah, that's kind of always fun. I did that and once. All that, so he's getting kicked out. Oh, nice. So now the bill. Then there was two of them in there. Oh, so now the bills are getting split three ways. Two dudes. No, oh. I'm doing a chick. Uh, Is she hot? Yeah. Nice. All right. Was she? Um, was she hot? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> look, I usually don't. I mean, I don't. You All know, right. I'm a gay, so I don't look at chicks that way. But I mean, I can still tell look, you. If, if, yeah. If this girl, if I would have let her sit on my face, I wouldn't be here right now. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. That's, I I hope she's not. You're listening. saying you get I'm saying, suffocated. I'm saying the reason that they got kicked out is because they're spending too much money on food. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's okay. Like food's okay. Well, not that much food. Oh, got yeah. it. Mm. So yeah, so I was already poor, and now I'm going to be even more poor. Poor. I ordered a new bowling ball, like yeah. some kind of jackass, because I can afford that. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, yeah, we have know, minus aren't... minus the wieners. We have a ton in common. Yeah, yeah, dude. 
Because I, right. I have like $100 left to my name. I have no oh shows. Oh, my God. I'm so jealous. I have no shows until the 1st of November. And oh, I was well, like, I have a job. And I was like, oh, well, that new Nintendo so, game just came out on the yeah, 30th. I yeah. might need to. Maybe it's a sort of an investment because it'll keep me at home, keep me from spending money. Right, I'm right. helping myself. Yeah, so, yeah, wow. man, absolutely. I went, the, wow. I went the other way. I just started buying only ramen noodles at the store. Ooh, so ooh. then, you know, I'm fucking saving money that way. Yeah, right. And yeah. Uh, and then I was at Quick Trade. I found uh, I found Jesus at a gas station. Oh, good. What? Deal. Yeah, Jesus. I found Jesus at a gas station. I don't understand. Tell I us was, more. Uh, I was pumping gas, and I looked up, and uh, you when looked, I needed him most, there he was. You looked down, I think, didn't you? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus Christ. He's pocket he's my pocket Jesus now. All right. JP so. found Jesus at the gas station. I sure did. And so now he goes everywhere with me. <coughs> I've never bowled better. Oh yeah? Yeah. Are you are you gonna be religious now? I, I was already religious, obviously. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't know that. He found his way back to my heart. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. Yeah. So anyways, praise so God. N- next Sunday I'm gonna come knocking on your front door. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, but that's, I mean, Praise I bowled, God. I smoked, I worked. Yeah. I, yeah. That's it? Yeah. Oh, and I think I, I kind of just stopped talking to the, uh, the fucking catfish. Oh, oh. no. <clears throat> because oh, we, no. Were, we were talking the other day. We ruined it. We fucked up you the You did show. it. <clears throat> but we were talking the other day, and he typed, typed back, I love you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> no. Oh, that's bad. Not when you. I never even met this guy. Was it after you it, it, said something look, man, humorous or have, something? Or no, okay, okay, no. no. It was like I'll talk to you tomorrow. I was like, all right, good night. Hope you sleep well. I love you, mm. dude. He's putting himself out there. I've. Ne- I don't love me, and okay. I know me. That's even more of a reason to like this dude. Man, no, look, man, dude, I, I'm I telling can't you, argue with that necessarily. I'm telling you, he, I don't, but also he loves that's creepy. You I've you never if you've met, never this met dude, him. Yeah, that I've is, never been this close to the guy. I understand Do you love it. Me? I, I understand mean, I love you it. in a right, different in way. Different way. I know. But, okay, <laughs> like, thanks, like, Mike. I love you. Like, oh, you're in jail, buddy. I'll come, I'll get, come you. get you. Come on, man. I love you. What are you talking about? I wouldn't let you stay in there all night with those. You know what? You know what happens to people in there? You're like, yes, rapists. That's what I was there for. There are legitimately five people in this world that I would fucking kill for, and you're one of them. Well, you might have to kill this dude. <laughs> <laughs> I would not kill anybody. He, for knows, sure. where, he yeah. knows where I live, and he right. knows where I work. And I'm just saying, maybe he put himself out there because, you know, maybe he was vulnerable. I have no idea. But, like, I've been in this situation, and I said it out of turn, but I was But wrong. not when you didn't even know the person. No, I knew who they were. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, just you said know it so what? fuck like, you. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I, it, come yeah. on, dude. If it was uh, after okay. a, a funny joke or something, then that yeah, would be a lie. Oh, yeah. oh, you're funny. I love you. Yeah. Okay, I get that. But okay. Good night. Okay, sleep well. I love you. I mean, <laughs> hey, dude, don't don't yeah. knock it. You have no idea. Maybe this person has but millions he, and, and millions of dollars. And then he sent me a picture of his b hole. Okay. Oh, oh was it? Was it good? I mean, was it one yeah, that you could learn to pic- love, dude? He, I told you, he's gorgeous. Man. Okay, I'm telling you. Like, maybe you should stop gorgeous. being so How fucking does somebody judgmental. Have a dude? Gorgeous butthole. No, 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 no. I don't. I wasn't sure what you were I'll, reaching for. I was I'll like, is he taking you. his pants off or getting no, his phone? Either way, my phone to show you. Either way, no. This sounds so like anyway, a really bad idea. That's uh, that's All pretty much the two weeks that I've had. Well, you know what? I tell you what. I missed you. I miss. Yeah, I missed you too, man. I legitimately miss you. I, I. You know what? We had the OG episode. It was an awesome episode. By I, the way. I really it wanted really you good. also to be on it, but you weren't available. Only three microphones, and I wasn't available. Yeah, you weren't available. We, we need a fourth off microphone guy. Oh, we could figure that. out. I feel like Steve Peters. Would Every be time good you for that. suggest something, Scotty goes, "Oh, we can figure that. We out. can yeah. figure that out. We'll, Absolutely. we'll, we'll get, get that done." Steve, Steve Peters. Ah, yeah. Steve Peters has a good laugh for sitting off to the side. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Just being the laugh in the background. Actually, that's my job. So don't take my job yeah, away, man. <laughs> no, your they job is. Take what will we do with Scotty? Your yeah, job what, is to what? not let me and JP finish good stories. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, on. that's enough. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time you said anyway, I wouldn't have to be here right now. I know. I'm like, all right, well, fuck my story then. That was going somewhere. Say, you want to say it right now? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
Uh, no, I had I had a really good week. Good. Um, uh, first thing I want to kick off, I'm going to go backwards. So uh, I got to uh, go and shoot guns with I Jeremy hate when Joseph. They do this. What? What? Go back, like movie starts at the end and goes to the beginning. Is oh, no. Well, no, I mean, like, not really. No. Okay. Anyway, no. you went shooting with Jeremy I Joseph. I went shooting with Jeremy Joseph. That's cool. Dude, Thanks for the invite. Dude built his two two three. It was awesome. It's a long-range rifle. It was great. He uh, he hit his target at 600 yards. Wow. Yeah. Fuck around Moral and find out. Moral of the story, out. don't fuck with Jeremy Joseph. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, I also, He also taught me a lot about shooting a handgun, which was really nice. Good. Uh, we had a really good time at the range. God, I love guns and uh, all of that stuff. Uh, they are fun. Yeah, He's, they are fun. It's what? fun to shoot. It's it's cool watching you turn into a gun nut. I Yeah. I like it. I, I fucking... Like, I'm wearing a gun hat yeah, of now. Of course you are, because that's... That's what rich people do. They uh, they're all in. They're all in the clothing. Well, the thing. You know, the, if you started curling, you would have curling hats. Yeah, and curling shirts. Oh yeah, and, no, totally. And, and you know what? It really sucks because I know you guys are going through a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah, that we're you know barely hanging on, but don't worry about it. Right, I know, right, and Mike? And I'm trying to find a good deal on purchasing a thousand dollars worth of ammo. So it's like Dude. you know we're in two different worlds. I'm only twenty one hundred dollars away from being able to afford my bankruptcy. But yeah, no, go go spend money, buddy. On, on ammo. Yes, we're gonna For need sure. it. Uh, I, need yeah, it. I love you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyways, uh, I did that. Uh, and I did start with my wife. We're watching it together. We have now started watching the rings of power. I knew you were going to say that. And I knew I wasn't going to care. Is it super gay? No, it's, it's really good so far. Yeah. I'm, I'm very excited. Like they put so, so much gays bad. Uh, uh, forced gayness, I think, is bad. Yeah, or like, like maybe uh, you've just never like if had it's the a right forced gayness. <laughs> no, if it's a kid, oh, I have. If it's a kid oh, show, then not, no, like, not approved. No, if it's a kid uh, show, then no. But, yeah, yeah, or like yeah. I, I started watching Brooklyn Nine Nine again <laughs> oh, recently, yeah. and it's like yeah. the, one of the main characters is like a gay guy. But I okay. never, I never think like <laughs> fucking shoving it down my throat here or anything because it's like a well placed character. It has something to do with the show, you know. It's not just like and here's uh, America, gay. whatever America Chavez from. Uh, yeah. And she's like, when when my mom's came along, and I'm like, what? Somebody in the writing room was like, let's make her mom's gay. And it's like, they don't have to be for the show, like for the story. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it You're doesn't. just yeah. doing that to like talk about it. I, I don't know. I agree. Uh, but the last thing that I'm going to get to, which is the main reason why I'm the crescendo of this story was, let me tell you something. Uh-oh. I, uh, I really hate a particular, particular cell phone provider. Verizon. Uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you which one. I T-Mobile. already know it's Verizon. I'm not going to tell you which one. But I did cancel, said uh, said provider over the last week. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, the person who got me over to AT&T was like, hey, man, take off your automatic withdrawal off of your account. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, no, seriously, please do it. I'm like, okay, fine. All right, no big deal. So I do. And uh, I get a, uh, I, I go on vacation, right? And I come back and I have a, a letter that I open. It's like, hey, sorry, you're leaving us. You owe us $80.91. I'm like, perfect. That sounds great. I'm going to go and pay it. And then the next letter that I get is from a collections agency that they have sicked on me to get their money. And I'm like, holy shit, that's not even within 30 days. This sounds kind of illegal, but whatever. I open it up and it says I owe them $170. Wow. And I'm like, okay, this, this, you know, this doesn't make sense. So I go the next day into said uh, store. AT&T. Uh, it's not AT&T. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. And uh, T-Mobile. I, I didn't say no to that one. But anyways, T-Mobile. I go into their Fucking store T-Mobile. and I say, hey, I got a letter from you saying I owe you this much. But then I have a collections agency coming after me for this much. Yeah, because they're charging you too. Probably. Uh, but I go and I say, Hey, I want to pay this off. I want to get done with you guys. You guys have been great. I've been your, I, I've had their service for 20 years, wow. 20 years. And I go in there and I'm like, Hey, I just want to get done. And she uh, brings up my bill. It's $480, hmm. $480. If you would have paid it in the first place, it wouldn't be so much. And I'm like, 
okay, that ain't fucking right. Like, you need to be able to break this down. And she breaks it down, and she goes, well, you owe us for this and this. And then you have a piece of equipment that you got, and they don't even have a fucking date of when I got it. And I'm like, that makes absolutely no sense. I don't remember that. Like, this is bullshit. And she's like, well, I mean, this is what I have you down for. And I'm like, okay, well, I tell you what, I'm going to pay the $80 that I know that I owe, and then I'll figure it out. So immediately I leave and I call my wife and she's like, yeah, you got that back in 2000 and like 15, 16. And it was to help boost your signal because we lived out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, okay. I know exactly where that thing is. So I go home, get it, find the box. I even find the fucking brand new box that, that bitch was in. And then I go back to T-Mobile. Guess what? What? Guess what? Oh, what? it was T-Mobile. I'm sorry. You just said it. Yeah. <laughs> we figured yeah, we it out. We got him. All yeah. right. So, it. so you took it back and they were sh Fuck. shocked that you still had it. And they're like, what are we going to do with this piece of outdated technology? Nailed it. Yeah. hundred percent. So I go back and I'm like, oh, okay, we don't take those back. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I got it. I got it. Now. Here it is. And I'm like giving it back to her. And she's just like trying to scan it in. And she's like, I'm sorry, we can't take this back. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I think they were. That'll be $800 and 76 cents, <laughs> right. please. You I was better so pay pissed. Now or it's I was so double. pissed. So I, I try to turn it back in. told me she I told owed me them $800, no. <laughs> I would just start <laughs> laughing. I think yes. What the fuck? And so <laughs> Good luck. I, it might as well be a hundred billion. Yeah. So in my head, I'm losing my <laughs> fucking shit. I'm going like, you mean to tell me that I went home and I'm bringing you back the equipment <laughs> on the original box that you're charging me <laughs> four hundred dollars for. Yeah. And I can't give it to you for you to send it back to T-Mobile. No, I've got to go and get a fucking like USPS or UPS package slip. You can't email it to me because they couldn't figure that out. So I ended up being on the phone with T-Mobile customer service. It's T-Mobile. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. T-Mobile. Yeah, we've accepted that. All yeah. right. And uh, carry on. Yeah, carry on. And so anyways, I yeah. And so anyways, so then I, I end up going and talking to T-Mobile's customer service to try to I'm sure send that was me. a big help. I was on the phone for an hour and 45 fucking minutes, bro. Did wow. you hour and 45 minutes? Did you have headphones in? Yes. You, that you makes did. it a little easier. It was also during the VP uh, debate, uh, which I uh, wanted to watch. And I couldn't watch it because I had to hear Felipe try to tell me how I owed him even more money than what it initially said, which I was able to use logic and reason and say, hey, hey, no. I don't owe you any more money. This is what I have. And long story or long long story short, it came down to where he's like, okay, I'm gonna send you a, a package slip. And I'm like, cool. Send it to this email and I can go and I can take it back tomorrow. And he's like, All right, I got it. It's already sent. I will uh talk to you later and hangs up the phone. Huh. And I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't get that email that I needed. But he's told me that if I went to the T-Mobile store the next day, I'd be able to get my package slip. So guess what I do? I take off a little bit early for lunch, go to T-Mobile. Guess what they don't have when I get there? Your package slip? 100%. Oh, I can't believe it. That was climactic. Oh, I was on pins and needles. I feel like there's I more. Oh, wait, there's more. So He's not done yet. So this is now the third time I've been to T-Mobile to get a fucking package slip to be able to send away. Just don't pay the bill. I tell you what, dude, I got to feel bad. It just goes away. I feel bad for this woman who is trying everything that she could do to try to help me. She knew I was frustrated. She could see it. My body language said everything. Like, I'm going to fucking shoot this place up. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I just, I'm, I'm a like, gun guy now. Just warning you. Yeah, this is why this is. What I know happened. when I signed up, I wasn't like this. <laughs> you, you wonder why shootings happen. These this are, is why. This is the scenario. T-Mobile customer service. And uh, and so she does everything, and I feel so terrible for it. I'm just like, you know what? I just want to leave. I just look at her. I just like, you know what? I I don't want you to do anything anymore. I just want to leave. So I leave and I go back to work. I shit you not. By the time I get back to work, I have an email in my like slot, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And it's the package slip that oh, I need. Nice. So I end up 
telling work like, fuck you guys, I need to leave, go and take this piece of pulp equipment that they don't even fucking use anymore. Correct. They're charging me $300 for, and I go and I send that shit away in USPS, and they're like, hey man, uh, this is not in a box. Can I charge you $6 for a box? And I went, is it going to T-Mobile or is it going to you? And he's like, it's going to us. And I'm like, sure, sure, absolutely. I got, it's done. It's done. I'm done. I hate this fucking company. They're absolute assholes and they can fuck off. So if you have T-Mobile, fuck you. That's, that's the, the more. fuck you. 100%. Yeah, go fuck yourself. That's my story. All right. Man, that's Thank my story. God. I, man. Sorry. I thought it was going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be that good. I, I just can't wait until I have a story to tell. And, and you're going to go, all right, that's enough in the middle of an And I'm going to go, T-Mobile story, come on. And then you'll have to, you'll have no choice but to acquiesce. I did a really bad job of telling this story, but God damn it, fuck those motherfuckers. But yeah. anyways, yeah, them. anyways, I mean, so Mike, to sum anyways, up, anyways, no, I'm just kidding. To sum up your story, <laughs> you uh, kept a piece of equipment that you should have returned. They charged you for it. You blamed them. For you I, keeping the piece of equipment. No, I gave it back to them, and they said no. <laughs> yeah. They, they were like, nah, we can't take it. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is yours. And they're like, nah, it, it is. So have you gotten something that says you have zero balance with them now? Not at this point, no. All right. Well, You're I can't wait till trouble. next week. Yeah, I to can't hear, wait till you hear, get the mail next week. Hear part two of this story. If there's a part two, I, I am going to go on a shooting spree. I'm just going to throw Hey, it man, out. can you... What? Give me access to your accounts before you do that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can't. give you some money, man. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man, I got uh, kicked out of my Disney Plus account. Oh. Not, and when I say my, I mean my I, friend. Yeah, some, somebody else's. Who's letting me use their password. But it says, it appears that you're not in the same household as whatever. And we only yeah. do households now. And it was like, click here if we're wrong. And I was like, I'm not going to click that because no. I don't want to, I don't want all of them to get kicked off of their Which thing. is exactly, uh, they would go, oh, well, then they're here. Right. Fuck these guys. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So if you anybody's watching, just send me a DM with your. We're a bunch you of. can't. We're a bunch of they degenerates. No, we'll just switch every couple of weeks. Oh, and then you're okay. I think we'll be okay. All right. You got a plan. That's all right. I already went back and watched the Avengers again. Good so for I'm, you. I'm all yeah. caught up for the next six months or so. That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike uh, Baldwin can actually talk into a microphone this week. Hey. I'm not, uh, it's, it's not took my. Us 10 minutes to get it set up. I just sat still and what Scotty moved it to where it needed to be. 100% because I know what I'm doing. That's because. I'm a comedian. I'm used to talking into the top of a microphone like a human being is supposed to. So is I'm a gay not, guy whenever I, he's trying to suck dick. I'm not used to me talking come to the on, side man, of it. Come on, be a professional, yeah, bro. Come on, dude, I am gotta, now. Nah, come on, you gotta be a professional. God, anyway, man. to sum up everything that we've talked about the last 15 minutes, yes, Ring of Power is good. It's good. Okay. It's very good, and I love it, and I All can't right. wait to watch it after you guys leave. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, hey, we, that was we this week's week, week recap. We could go now. We could. I mean, I, know. I don't that's think the it's going to get any better. No, I don't know. Thanks for watching uh, the Ring of Power yeah, episode. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we can move on to hot topics. I can't say. Oh, man. man that's sucks. crazy. Poor guy. It sounds like me trying to hit a high note. It's not good. Did you scream somewhere? or well, did just you shove just... something really large up your ass. I bet you could do it. No. Oh, I know that. I was gonna say <laughs> those. I call those massage noises, where you're just like, "Oh God, yep, that's what I noise I would make if something I, I ridiculous." I mouth a little bit, depending on how large. I may not even know it's there. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is hot topics for this week. Uh, first thing I wanted to get uh, get to was uh, we now have the Major League Baseball playoffs that yeah. are going on right now. Sure enough. And we said last week on the show, uh, we, we took the teams that we really don't want to be a part of this, and there's been one team that has been eliminated, and fuck you if you're a Houston Astros fan. How come? Because they're eliminated. Well, I know that, bye but bye. I mean, but why fuck Houston Astros? Uh, because they cheated. For two worlds, they're the Patriots of yeah, baseball. Much, yeah. they, they so suck. they're better. Or than now they're they the suck. Chiefs of baseball. Yeah, they suck. Nice. I, I can't stand it. But anyways, uh, that happened, uh, and then you know, 
I, I, I don't really know who I want to win, but I know that like, uh, I do not want the New York Yankees or the Los Angeles Dodgers to be in the World Series. Well, that's who's going to win. I know, and it sucks. Dude, the Dodgers are going to win handedly. Oh, God, it sucks. Are the Royals Dude. still in it? Yes, yes, the Royals that's why are still in it. I got my Royal shirt on, and because it was clean. Ooh. And a lot of other clothes no. were not. Now he's bragging uh, about the clothes he's wearing. Now it's clean. clean. I picked this up off the floor <laughs> before I came over here because I still in my fucking restaurant uniform from last night. Well, I mean, you do That's the smell important. test, though, I'm That's sure. Important. That's important. I didn't, but I know what I think I, I'm good. I know the feeling I get when I smell a shirt from the floor, and I think, no. I can't do it again. Uh, yeah. That's fair enough. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to football, which I, I just wanted to throw out the NFL first off because we are recording this episode on a Sunday. Yeah. Yes, sirs. And uh, Because we're not bitches like the OGs who can only record on fucking days I can't. That is a good point, bitches. Uh, but anyways. The OGs. I like how you <laughs> emphasize the wrong half of that, but it sounds better the OG, than the, than the, the OGs. 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 What's up, OGs? What's up, OGs? That sounds like a good name for a man. Yeah, it does. OG actually. Baldwin. Yeah, OG Baldwin. OG Baldwin. Oh, OG if you Baldwin. ever have a kid, you can name him that. I, that'll have it'll have to be my second kid because my first kid's <laughs> name is going to be Mister. Mister Baldwin. That's right. Nice. Then he can be a dick from the get go. <laughs> Teachers will be like, "Uh, Mister Baldwin," and he'll be like, "Mister's fine, so, thank you." Okay, this is actually a good question to ask on the show. So uh, we were talking with a couple of friends, and they were talking about us having kids. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. No, no, like talking about me having kids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I was going to say, what's this Hold us? On. Okay. So, me and my wife, if we had a kid, uh, that'd be you, a cool fucking kid. Let's say it was a boy. Yeah. Do you think he'd be a dick? No. No. Really? Your wife yeah. is a very nice lady. I was going to say, yeah. And you are too. I mean, he might, he would. Very nice lady. <laughs> That's the way I look at you. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> wow, actually, that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Nah, man, I think that... You think he'd be a good kid? Oh, I think he'd be an awesome kid. Oh, I think he'd be a dick. Nah. No? Nah. He'd realize you're a douchebag. Oh, yeah. okay. All kids right. pick up on that kind right. of thing. And right, kids tend to go opposite right. of what their parents are. So if yeah. you're a dick to him, exactly. then he's going to be, like, be like, man, man. I don't want to behave wow. that way. Okay, right. all right. I was expecting a different answer, but yeah. I'll take it. Uh, okay. what, about mean, it? What, if, what if she's a girl? Oh, if she's a girl, she's going to be like... No man would want to marry your girl. What? They would never be able to give her enough or provide enough for her because oh, okay. you would, you, you, you would, dude. She would look at you and you would give her whatever she wanted. Right, and you'd be like, "You're a princess, and yeah. you deserve oh, the world." Yeah, right. Yeah. And then a guy would be like, "What's up, chick?" I would ruin and she'd be like, oh, "I need sure. more than this." And then you would shoot someone because they fucking were mean to her. And this is you'd true. Be in yeah. Jail. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Best if it's a boy. I'm, yeah, it's, it's best, best if it's a boy. Best you would totally be that dad that would cock his shotgun when he she's about to go on her first date or whatever. Have fun, sweetheart. Have okay. her home by eight. Uh huh. <laughs> These are all really good points, and I think that they're all correct. So I'm I just think that go with should, that. I think you should definitely have kids, though. Yeah. Really? Of course, just dude. Couple. What? What other reason for yeah. uh, existing does a human being have? She wants them. We'll have them. Start well, working on it right now. Doing? Me and JP will finish the show. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Go make sweet love to your <laughs> wife. <laughs> What's no. your what's your son's we're, name gonna we're be? We're just standing here with the microphones up to the uh -huh. ceiling. Yeah, it's like doesn't really sound like she's enjoying herself all that much. You guys are down here doing the show, and all of a sudden you hear he he he. Your mama sure cares about your schooling, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're gonna move on to speaking the next of one. Moms, yeah. Speaking of moms, nice. Uh, Rasheed Rice or Rasheed Rice's mom allegedly caught on camera committing porch piracy in a oh, custom wow. Mama Rice jersey. Wow, no way. Yeah, bro. No way. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's and it's the Chiefs. They're it, cheating bastards. That's it's amazing. really not it's that alleged get. either. It's on it's video, all, right? It's not you really can alleged. See her grabbing it, and it was her neighbor too. Her neighbor yeah. like went to her first and was like, "Hey, I know you took my thing. Will you fucking give it back?" And she was like, "I don't know what you're, talking, know what you're about. talking about." And she's like, "All right, I'll fucking wow. call the cops then." So that's she got the cops crazy. involved. Yeah, it's dumb, dude. Like that's so awesome. <sighs> whatever. I mean shocked 
I'm not no? shocked. No, I mean that's the. Oh, I mean you know your bo- your boy your boy makes millions of dollars, and you're stealing off of people. But that's the I can do what I want attitude. I think of Cartman when I see behavior like that, where it's okay, like I can okay. do what I want. Yeah, okay. Oh right, well, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> You can take the rat Jesus out of the hood. Christ. You can take the rat out of the hood, but you can't, can't take, take the, the hood, hood out of the rat. rat. That's 100% true. Uh, wow. Moving on. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It actually is. It's, Dude, it's pretty I haven't important. even gotten to that point yet, but uh, I'm thinking about it. Well, I mean, we just need to start. What, like thievery? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, com- yeah. Yeah, we can make a company. I feel like you've got a few options before you get to that. Oh, yeah, for sure. But yeah. I'm on my way. I'm yeah. one of the options. So clear. <laughs> right? Yeah, JP, like, sleeping in the spare bedroom is an option. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Spare bedroom. Dude. Yeah, don't don't trust Scotty. He's just Good trying call. to... Don't look at me like that. Good You're not going to be able to get into the spare yeah. bedroom, you <laughs> piece of shit. He's trying to... Scotty, to, I need my sleep. I got to work in the morning. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I hate you. I just look over and he's army crawling across the he's, carpet. You still sleeping? She's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> JP, get out of here, dude. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to sleep. I gotta work. All right. So, wow, that's never going to happen. Anyways, uh. Uh, Devontae <laughs> Adams requests a trade from the Raiders to play with a quarterback he knows. So, that's two. There's two quarterbacks. Aaron Rodgers and, uh, uh, he, oh, shit, he plays for the Saints. I can't remember his name. It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. No. no. Who's who's the quarterback in at the Raiders? I know, I know, I should know this. Yes, I'm I'm a stupid piece of shit. And so Devontae Adams I can is see like, his I don't face. know this Raiders guy. I don't like playing with him. Uh, I know, but I, I... No, I'm saying, is that what he said, basically? Yeah, pretty much. He, he was like... Uh, uh, so he's just not getting the oh, ball thrown baby, to him? Go, and baby, stuff. go oh, baby. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, like, wow, that's that's crazy. I, uh, I mean, it's not that crazy. There's... I mean, sort of. A right bunch now. of names like, to it's, remember. It's not even who. It, oh, oh, not. Oh, it is. It is Gardner Minshew. I am so sorry. Uh, I was thinking more or less of the Saints. I was thinking of the Saints quarterbacks. And, uh, but. Who's that? Exactly. That's the one that I was fucking, <laughs> like, losing my shit over. Do the Saints like, still have the same quarterback they've had for the last 10 years or whatever? No. Uh, who was Drew, that guy? Drew Brees there we left. Go. And, uh, so I had him on a fantasy team once. Derek Just, Carr. Oh, that was the one that I couldn't fucking, like, get out of my head. But, Derek Carr was at the Raiders. Uh, and he went to the... Did he? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it oh, kind of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of like. You, you sports people are weird. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know Devonte Adams, but I know that that it seems like a bitch excuse. I yeah. To be like, it's just because this quarterback doesn't like me. I need uh, to go with someone who I know. Pretty much. But I think he's trying to get out because like he's he's not getting super targeted, which is bullshit because he has been. But I just I don't know. I think it's. I think he's he's just being kind of a drama queen, and I do not want him to end up in Detroit. But there's a rumor that's going around yeah. that's like he could go to Detroit, and then he can also take Max Crosby with him, and Max Crosby in a Detroit uniform sounds would look, like a good deal. That's a good deal. I'll take that all day Touchdown long. Touchdown Broncos! Oh, look at that! Look at look, us go, look, dude! Look, look, look at that! Uh, but moving on, so next one is Garth Brooks is accused of rape. I'm sorry, uh, grape. What? I guess grape. Grape? Yeah, grape. You got to do this for YouTube. Oh. Grape uh, and uh, he's gr- accused, sexual gr- assault. He's accused gr- of sexual assault <laughs> in a lawsuit involving his makeup artist back in 2019. He also tried to paint himself as a victim when he filed his own lawsuit against her last month i don't buy it do you know you don't buy it no according to her story uh she came to his hotel room and he like the story that she told was basically like he held her a certain way and like did and i don't know i've seen his hands he is not hung enough to do the things that that she claims she was like she was on like le- on her back with her w- vagina in the air, and he was like p- fucking down on pounding her. it. Yeah, that's and, not that hard to do. I mean, if uh, mine's not, mine doesn't do uh, that. Have you tried? 
I I don't have the equipment necessary, both oh, wiener wise and that is too that's bad. That's too bad. I, I, I guess fine. we need to stop having Mike on the yeah, fucking we show. Should. Oh no, did I ruin it? <laughs> I think that was the only fucking hope I had was that you would fucking drill me. There's a and requirement. Now that I know you can't. There's a requirement. JP, you have to. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> There's a requirement. You have to be of a certain length to be on this show. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well. What is there was a comedian that said, I have a 13 inch penis starting at the spleen. <laughs> yeah, it's like you gotta, me- you gotta measure that root. Yeah, the dick root. <laughs> so, so I've actually been told, uh, from a very reliable source that uh, Garth Brooks could actually be a serial killer. No, that's a thing. Yeah, that's like a Tom Segura about. thing, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's legitimate. Yeah. I don't know. I, I listened no. to like a 30-minute no, video legitimate. about it's it not. yesterday, and it was saying a lot of it is random coincidence. Oh, it's legitimate, man. Yeah, it's legitimate. Shit is for real. Yeah, I think... I, but I think, I, maybe somebody that works on the tour bus or something, they could yeah. be... But I don't. I think Garth yeah. is too busy and too no. popular to be like let's no. let's kidnap and no. let's, and they're all different ages and sexes. Like you know what? I know why people don't like him. What? Because I argue. Because he just. <laughs> <laughs> what me? I'm just throwing in two cents, dude. <laughs> no, I, dude. I, I'm telling you, I think Garth Brooks. I think he's a. I, I think he. Uh, Scotty's got a joke here. Yeah, relax. Man. Hold on. Yeah, Let Scotty get to his joke, and then you can argue. All right. About how he won't do it. He couldn't do it. Okay, Scotty. I don't have a joke. Oh, I'm serious. You really think he did it? Yeah. I apologize, man. I thought <laughs> I don't think that he did it. No, of course, he didn't do it. I think he did it. Yeah, I think he did it. I think he did it. No, if it, it. if they would meet a certain, I think he did it multiple times, like mo. Then I could see it. But it was like an old man in one city, and like a kid in another city, and like a middle aged lady, and an, like you would. If you're a serial okay. murderer, you're gonna pick the same sort of victim over and over again. Okay, friends in low places. Let me ask you a question. Um, that's what that song was about. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it's it's for that. Uh, but no, seriously, he drowns people in whiskey. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and, exactly, and chases their blues, blues away. away. Blues yeah, away. yeah. Uh, but no, I, I think that honestly, there have been like people that have reported after they uh, like Garth Brooks was at a particular place, and he's nasty. Like he is gross. He has left like. Uh, like porta potties on an airport or, or uh, at an airplane or what do you call that? Uh, a, a toilet. Shut up, JP. The lavatory. Don't don't look at me or don't look at a him. Look at me. Jug. No, like like the toilet on an airplane, and it just looked like somebody just went in there and shit in circles. Like well, maybe, maybe he that had it. to. That's gonna be his next song. I think it's a I fetish. Shit in <laughs> I think it's his fetish. I really do. I think it's something that he just really wants to do, and that's that's Garth Brooks's fetish. Is I really shit do. everywhere. Shit everywhere. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad yeah. that's not my fetish. Me. Where did this go wrong? <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed last week. It was a good episode. <laughs> and you bring me back here and this is what kind of thing hey right? man whatever i had a oh, negative man. shit experience when i was in like fourth grade and so i it actually helped my life because oh because now i'm very a- anal oh ab- about good. Oh, good that i don't as you should have be. shit on me or <sighs> that i don't smell like shit <laughs> I never had an incident, and I don't want shit on me, and I don't want to smell like shit. Well, something I mean, I didn't. Me, someone tells me there. you've had shit on it's you. Pretty inherent. Oh, absolutely. So one time, one no, time. No, I don't want to know. One time, I don't my, want to know. my ex and I. Oh, okay. Good. We're having breakfast, and he drank a whole pot of coffee. Mm. Oh man! After we got done, it looked like somebody threw threw a poop filled water balloon in bed with us. <laughs> <laughs> it was not good. We threw away those sheets. I would have thrown away the bedroom. Oh yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, you could hear him though. I farted. Uh, good, <laughs> but no, I uh, I had to. I was late. So for did the, he? I was late so for the bus did. one morning, and and I shit right before no! I left for the bus. And then I got. I was sitting on the bus, and this dude named Nick, who was a year older than me, who was kind of a bully looking back, but he turned around and goes, "You smell like shit." And like the kids all in the immediate area went, "Shit, <laughs> Mike! Shit, Mike!" Yeah. Yeah. And I just remember my face turning red and hating myself. And uh, so then from then on, good. I was like, "All right, we from shower after we poo." before we go in from, front of people yeah from then on he stopped using his hand to wipe his ass <laughs> good grief. i mean you use your hand to wipe your ass with a p- paper barrier yeah dude yeah i got wait. a barrier man do you 
Oh yeah, I fucking wrap that shit up. Okay, I got a you, barrier. You That's mummy good. your finger oh, and yeah, then fucking dude. yeah, stick it up there, wiggle it around. <laughs> <laughs> Make a little hook, get the rest of it. It's like those those cup cleaners or yeah. like the yeah. things I'm that it starts yeah, fat exactly and it the gets. Fuck yeah. uh-huh. I'm yeah. gonna throw the fuck up. Okay, all right. That's it. That's it. That's hot topics. Man, that was a good one. I'm glad we did that. That's hot topics. Yeah. Oh, this episode's going to be long as fuck. Anyways. It is uh, already. (laughs) Yeah, it is already. But ladies and gentlemen, we can move on to Never Have I Ever. Uh, We had some decent ones this week. Okay. And we had some really bad ones, too. Well, we won't talk about those. We won't. We won't. Uh, We won't won't give the people that give us bad ones credit, but uh, we're going to give the good ones credit. And the first one comes in from Braxton Lint. Uh, he you wants pick to pick him all the time. Oh, that's because he has good ones. Yeah, he's. I, I, I need to look this guy up. <laughs> he should be on the yeah. show. Yeah, he should. Uh, actually, I think Braxton, <laughs> Braxton would be a good target. I think for you. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna check it out. Braxton's listening, going, "What the fuck?" He said, "What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm married. Probably. And it wouldn't uh, be the first married guy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyways, uh, Braxton Lint wants to know, uh, never have I ever lived somewhere that wasn't haunted. That, that was haunted. haunted. Oh, that was haunted. I'm sorry. Never have I ever lived somewhere that was haunted. I feel like the place that I live now is haunted. Do you? Really? By my roommates. They haunt me every day. <laughs> oh, God. No, no I've no. never. Have you ever like lived? In, like, like, if anybody was going to come at me and say, like, dude. Dude, I've I've seen some shit. It'd be you. Nope. Really? I, I saw a picture yeah, frame really. float across the room once. But he was on ass. <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say. He was on shroom. That it wasn't at my house. It was yeah. at like a lake house, and I'm still convinced that it was part of something that somebody had set up ahead of time. Dude, I thought I saw Jesus once. That was probably real. And then I reached into my pocket. Yeah, there he was. And there he was, Pocket Jesus. Pocket, P- Pocket Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Pocket Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, man. Did you lose it? No, dude. Oh. He's in my pocket. He can't find it, though. I know. I, He's looking. He's looking for it. He can't find it. That would be funny if it disappeared. There he is. Pocket Jesus. Pocket oh. Jesus. I, and I, I believe in Jesus, and that's... Crazy. Easy, dude. No, I've never lived in a haunted house. I we went to uh, there was a place that we called the Insane Asylum, and that's kind of what it was, I guess. But it was like an old hospital that was closed down, and like they fenced around and everything. And we found oh, wow. we like cut our way through the fence, and we would go there. And dude, uh, on different nights, it was there were like parts that where all the gated doors were locked, but people dude. had like sledgehammered through the concrete to like get past that part. So there were areas where, like, you would go down the stairs and then you would get to a, a closed gate and people would have to crawl through a hole. I mean, it was scary in there. And we uh, yeah. saw, like, I'm ten... Out. I'm out. We saw, like, ten dudes in matching fucking, like, robes once and we bolted immediately. They were all holding dude, candles and shit. It was creepy, dude. I got a story like that, what? but I don't think I should tell it. Come on. Let's go. So let's this, fucking go. Uh, there's this place in my grandma's hometown. Okay. In my mom's hometown. That's called Spook Hill, and it's where they used to hang all the black people back in the day. And probably some white people, no, too. No, 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 okay. no, no. But probably. But uh, it's supposedly haunted. <laughs> all right. Uh, but it's scary. What are those? Is that the end of the story? What are those ghosts like? They're just hanging from trees. So they're fine? No. I mean, as far as the living goes? I mean, I guess. I don't know. Are they stuck to that tree? Yeah. All right. I guess. I mean, that All sucks right. for out. that guy 100 years ago or whatever, but. Yeah. Um, I, we used yeah. to just go out there and drink. Oh, God. That's what we no, would go I to could, the insane could, asylum I, No, for. I couldn't do it. There's no way I could do it. No. No, I couldn't I So couldn't you've do never that. lived anywhere haunted? Uh, uh, Well, yeah, I have. The way I've always, uh, I heard this when I was young. Somebody said, if you think you've ever seen a ghost, you're either lying or you're mistaken. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't believe in ghosts. My, <laughs> wife, my wife, on the other hand, does. So she told me a story that it w- is in this current house that we are currently in. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm glad I didn't know it was haunted before I stayed here. <laughs> I didn't tell you for a reason. 
Uh, but uh, she was, was now it all makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No wonder my right? butt hurt in the morning. <laughs> no, but she was like, she was like, uh, she was like, yeah. The, uh, I think there's a spirit that lives in this house, and I'm like, are you fucking retarded? Like, what's the deal? And she's like, no, I, I like, I felt somebody come and push on the bed, and I'm like, that could be Freddie. Any, that could be <laughs> Freddie. Like, like anything. And she's like, no, uh, Freddie was sitting over on the bed and uh, the other dog was sitting over there on there. And I'm like, nah, you're full of shit. Like you're full. Of, I don't believe you one bit, but she's she's trying to convince me that we live in a haunted house currently. Mm. Huh. Hmm. Well, don't look into it because that doesn't it lower the value of your home. If yeah. somebody was murdered. In <laughs> yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're not going to look into <laughs> don't it. Don't look into it. Yeah. <laughs> we're not sell. trying to. We're, sell. Try, <laughs> we're not trying to. We're not trying to fix this shit at all uh, or anything. So yeah. All of a sudden the pre shows up. Right. Yeah. We heard. Yeah, exactly. Uh, next one comes in from Matthew Rother Mitch, and he wants to know, uh, never have I ever gotten out of the friend zone. Yeah, I have. Oh, you did? I spent a while in you the did? friend zone, jumped out of the friend zone, and then went to the we don't talk anymore zone. Oh. Because that's how that goes. Yeah, that's yeah. how it always goes. But yeah, no, one of my first real girlfriends, actually, in, in high school, we were friends for almost a year before randomly i didn't plan it or anything i just looked at her one night and we were sitting close to each other and i was like i'm gonna kiss her and i kiss her and she kissed me back and then we were boyfriend and girlfriend for like i'm a, sorry I another threw mouth year a and a half after that poor it was girl. adorable oh poor girl yeah, sorry, it was really and great. she was the first person that i ever experienced that uh i can't i i would try to just pull her pants down to like her knees and then have missionary sex with her and she was like it doesn't work like it won't work like that i have to be able to like <laughs> so that was my first uh like science experience of being like oh so that's where the the hole is i thought it was just like right where the wiener was on a dude, you know. Wow. Okay. All right. That's good. Yeah. I mean, you don't to know be those fair, things. He was 18 at the time. <laughs> yeah. No, I was 16 at the time. Oh, actually. oh, oh, oh even better. <laughs> oh, I was in high school. Good deal. How about you, JP? How about you, buddy? Um, hmm. Yeah, I have, but it's different for me. Because we can just fuck and then keep being friends. Oh, that's so weird, man. I, I don't understand the gay community at all. Yeah. I mean, don't you, isn't there a tinge of jealousy or whatever if you yeah, see that yeah. person I, with somebody I, else? I really wish no, that the straight community would be just like the yeah. gay community. No. Huh. All right. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I just especially get, no because like if I saw him with somebody and I like that somebody too, I'd be like, yo. What, let's say we make this a threesome, and they'd be like, sure, come on. Okay. Again, right. I, I mean, wish the straight community would be a lot like the gay community. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, no. No, for what it's I worth, I, I, I've never made it out of the friend zone. Yeah. Never okay. never did. But uh, now you, you went the opposite way. You started out of the friend zone, and now you have your wife, who's your best friend. Uh, actually, my wife made it out of the friend zone. So you were her oh, friend? Wow. Look at you all cocky. Good or for you. Cocky yeah. or scared. Too scared to hit on the friend that he liked. I And then when she finally did, he was like, okay. No, I think you might no, be right. My, my wife was looking for a friend, and I befriended her. And, and I, then I fucked her. <laughs> and now look at her. She's stuck. <laughs> well, and that's why you need to have kids. Yeah. It's true. Lock her it's down all now, true. dude. It's for all real. true. That, you should have had kids five years yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah there's still plenty of time. You could have yeah. seven or eight before it's too late. Good oh, God! I don't think that's no, a good not idea. no. That's a that's bad a idea. Bad that's idea. No, each bad one idea. is another hand to do no. chores and stuff. I'm no, out. No, so. no, thank you. After uh, the fourth one, you don't hardly <laughs> have to do anything. No. Uh, but anyways, moving on. <laughs> Get in there and change your sister's diaper, <laughs> Lady, ladies. That's Mike Baldwin. Baldwin. Mike is funny. Dot com. Yeah, right. your resumes. Let's have some children, ladies. Uh, but anyways, oh. uh, next one comes in from Jake and, uh, Jacob Mock. He wants to know, never have I ever scared the shit out of my significant other. I fucked the shit out of him once. Okay, well, that's fine. But I didn't scare it out you of him. You didn't scare it out of him? 
No. I figured you probably would. Fucked him out. Fucked it out of him. You, 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 well, actually, no. You scared the shit out of a dude whenever he saw your package. I don't blame him. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. probably true. All right. So that. No, I, I think we've all done this. Have we? Have you not? No. No, bull crap. No, I what, can't. What, scared the shit out so of your significant other? I don't, I don't want to scare my wife. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. You've never scared your wife. Uh-uh. She scared the shit out of me before. Good. Yeah, she has. Good. But, like but hiding no. behind a corner or yeah, something? Yeah, you know, yeah. some, anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's cool. She's cool that like that. I, I love her. I, it, her sense of humor is solid. Good. So. But yeah, but, but I no, I've never, sc- I've never scared the shit out of her oh, at all. Mike? Uh, I've never like jump scared anybody. I've probably scared people with my drunken Ooh. ideas or whatever. You know, mm. let's drive this car through a yard and, mm. and and yeah, that kind of shit. And they're like, all yeah. right, maybe I should drive, sweetie. And I'm okay. like, no, all I right, got that's it. Fair. That's fair. And she's like, you scared the shit out of me last night. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, next one. Uh, Never have I ever argued with yourself while driving as if the person you are mad at is actually in the oh, car. All the time. Yeah. 100%. All the time. Yep. I bet people are like, he must be on the phone, but really I'm not. <laughs> I'm just fucking yelling at myself. Four different size tires, you piece of shit. Get your life together. <laughs> I, I have lit up somebody that i work with on a regular basis who i think is in the passenger seat and they're not there yeah every fucking time and they're still fucking retarded wait Ugh. you thought they were in your passenger seat no they're not but that's not the point it's just that he you yelled just at pretend like I, yeah. I yelled at him as if they were yeah i do that i mean For i sure. i have conversations with people hey nice driving you dick oh, face yeah. <laughs> come on let's go but I'm so, not. I'm not talking to a human being when I say that, though. I'm talking no. to the mystery entity that's operating the vehicle. Oh, in front and of I'm me. talking to the human being. I'm oh, like this I'm, stupid I'm cunt. Yeah, well, but I'm usually wrong because yeah, I'm shit. like, come on, old lady, and it's like a young black dude, and I'm like, man, I was way off. All right, <laughs> still going thirty in the slow lane though, huh? And that's interesting. That's funny. All right, and last one. Never have I ever decided that I had... Or, well, hold on. Uh, never have I ever decided that I hate a food item, even though I have never even tried it. Yeah. Uh, what do you w- think? Wieners. What do you think, me? Oh, yeah. Oh, for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. For sure. Yeah. Like what? That's why I say gay sex is a lot like Brussels sprouts. They look funny, and they might smell a little, but once you fucking eat one, they're pretty good. <laughs> I, oh, my I, God! I would change the end no. of that. I would keep the beginning the same and then go, but once you try one, you go, Hurgh. and no. you're like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. No. That's terrible. Uh, that's terrible. No. Uh, but yeah, I have. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I still do. Yeah, I still, yeah. yeah, I still, I you still have that. foods. I, I don't want to try them. Absolutely. 100%. Like what? Like, like that thing where the uh, chicken is like half a chicken already what is that called where they cook it in the egg and you just eat it whole and you can feel the bones crunch and shit what there's a word for it it's not an egg but it's not like a hatched chicken but it's closer to being a a, a chicken if you crack the egg you can see it's like baby chicken and what the fuck no look it up it's a thing you look it up and people talk about on my phone the crunch of the bones and that kind of shit yeah yeah, yeah, no, thank you. That's my uh, example of a thing uh, that I don't want to try, uh, even though I've never tried it. Oh God, uh, no, no, fuck I that. Like eggs, not anymore. No, I don't either. I uh, I like eggs still. I but, used to. But I had something in my head that I was going to use as an example, but I, 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 I got that. nothing Gee, anymore. Yeah. Uh, Way to ruin it, what Mike. The fuck. God damn it. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, never have I ever. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. JP's favorite part of the episode, uh, and we had some good ones. I, I will, I, I will admit that. Uh, but the first one comes in from Wayne Fa- uh, Fargnoli. Jeez. Sorry, sorry, Wayne Fargnoli. Jesus Christ. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm, Come uh, on, I, man. I'm, get, I'm getting through it. Shut the fuck up. Uh, but he wants to know. What is the minimum number of hours <laughs> per week you need to be left alone? How many hours are there in a week? <laughs> I don't know. Because that many. Oh, you need to be left yeah, alone. Leave me the fuck dude. alone, okay. dude. All right, man. Let, let's, let's go down this path. 
Like if you were with somebody. I'm not. But if and you I never were, will be again. Okay, but if you could be. Can we go down this road? Okay. Okay. If you could be with somebody who loves you unconditionally, uh, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist. How many weeks or how many hours would you need to be left alone in order to be sane? More than 50% of them. Okay. Oh, no, right. definitely not. I would say, I would say like five hours a week. Okay. Five? Only five? Really? Well, probably more than that because let's see. Like twelve. Okay. Okay. That that's a twelve little bit, hours. Uh, yeah, a that's a little bit better. Uh, like like for me, like my wife, she legitimately leaves me the fuck alone. Yeah, I would too. Thanks, man. <laughs> I know why she does it. She does it for her sanity. You think she's being nice to you, but really she no, does it she, for her. No, she really is. She really is being. Yeah, she's real. awesome, man. Yeah, she's she's I amazing. I don't know how that happened. I know. I don't either. But don't fuck it up for I'm me. I'm gonna JP. try not to. Yeah. Man. Thanks, man. It's called Balu. It's a, a Southeast Asian delicacy. Of course. Oh. From the people that brought you COVID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Balu. Whatever the fuck it is. Uh, but no, I, I would I would say I need I need anywhere from like eight to ten hours per week to just be left alone. Yeah. If I'm not if I'm not getting that, I'm pretty fucking irritated. Mike. Oh, I need uh that's what you I said already 50 percent okay 50 percent of okay. my time i need you to huh. you don't have to be gone it's like a p comedian patrice o'neill once said like we want we don't want you here but we want you like around okay all right that's but right. just don't come here okay i to, agree to with my you. space that's yeah that's good what you doing watching basketball and he's like oh <laughs> like jesus fucking christ yep, get 100%. away from me i agree uh, next one comes in from Mason Cole. He wants that's to know. How my, that's how my ex is all field. <coughs> They're like, ah, oh, get this fucking guy out of here. Yep. Did you say field? Field. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next one comes in from Mason Cole. He wants to know how long is too long to go without a shower? Uh, I mean, Jesus it, Christ. This is a question I really want to know the answer to from Mike. Mike has this, like a 30 day. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, check your phone. When's the last time yeah, you showered? Yeah, when's the last time you showered? track of it, but we almost. We can smell you from uh, here, bro. Almost every day. Uh, okay. There are definitely days where I'm like, I don't feel like it. What? What in the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You're saying I should shower every single day? Every fucking day. Sometimes no. I shower twice a day. I, I'm the same way. Yeah. I mean, I do too sometimes when I'm in a hotel for sure because I don't care oh, about because, uh, wasting why? their shit. Like, give me, like what, what was the reason? Some of us can't afford water. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I just when I'm at home, if I know I'm not going anywhere, I'm like, well, I'm going to just put on the same clothes I was wearing yesterday. I'm not doing anything today, so I don't give a fuck. If I'm going where there's people, if I have a comedy show, there's no way I'm doing it without taking a shower five or six hours at the latest before the show. Does that make sense? Sure, man. Or you if I have a date or if I'm going out with friends. Every fucking day nah. for yourself and for everybody else around you. Well, man. there's nobody around me on the days that I don't shower. That's why I don't give a fuck. I said for yourself, too. No, because I know what I smell like when I'm like, Jesus, I need to take a fucking shower. And mm. that's not... I can go 24 hours without smelling like that fingernails and showers ladies and gentlemen i don't think that's that ridiculous for me to no be. it's not if i if i said once a week or something that'd then be fucked that would up. be scary when I, do you not feel clean me like that's my question like when do you not right after clean? i jerk off okay <laughs> or right that's, after I, I, I i get that too and then i gotta fucking Take a shower. Yeah. 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 It, it depends on the nastiness of the shit that I take in the morning. Oh, my God. And how long I play games on my phone before I wipe my ass. <laughs> wow. Okay. That has a lot to do with whether I shower or not. If I get on and off the toilet in 10 minutes or so, then I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I can sit around and. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. All right. No, 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 no. I don't know how this is like, I can understand you being like, I disagree, but I don't see how you can be like, what? I disagree. It's one, it's a day. Circle gets the square. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't care. The all answer right. is every other day, circle gets the square. Was that? Okay. All right. 
You, uh, you know what? You know what? We're not even going to go there. We're not going to even go there. Like, like, we're going to move on. Okay? All let's right. Let's go to Jesse Pedal. Next one. Okay, let's go to Jesse Pedal. Jesse Pedal wants to know, how long would you wait for a date to show up? So that means you're at a bar right, right or now. A it's restaurant. been about six years. <laughs> Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. how long would you wait? Like, you're there, you're in public, and you're waiting for a minutes. date, and she doesn't show up. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, I think, is a good. That, yeah, that's a good rule of thumb. And yeah. then I would text, and then if they didn't text back, I'd be out. I'd be out too. Yep. How about you? I I when uh, America Online chat was still a thing, I met a girl, and I knew exactly what she looked like because she told me. That she was 5'3 and brown hair and hot. <laughs> and that was before he could send pictures or anything. But so I, and I did a similar thing. I was 200 pounds and fucking fat and stupid. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm like six foot, 200, kind of built. Anyway, so I was at Applebee's waiting for her to show up. And she walked in and looked at me and goes, nope. And she turned around and left. <laughs> Wow. And then the bartender gave me my food for free. Of course. He, he was did. like, man, I'm really sorry. That's fucking rude of uh, her. Exactly. Exactly right. That's awesome. Uh, next one comes in from Matthew Rothermich. He wants to know how old is too old to go to college? No limit. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. So have you ever seen that movie where Joe Pesci fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where he's a lawyer. Totally. Where he's yeah. a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> that does that's not about college. Yeah, though. it's not about college at all. Yeah, dude, Harvard. Oh, okay. What uh, what, uh, what, no. what did, yeah. he was a janitor or something at Harvard? What movie am I thinking of? No. Goodwill hunting? No. no. Okay. No, that that would not I'm be. I'm pretty sure Joe it Pesci. was Joe Pesci. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But Maybe I, it wasn't Joe Pesci. Maybe it was somebody else. As far as know. going to college, no, you can start going to college anytime. It depends on what you want to go to college for. Uh, there are different careers that you should go to college for, and then there are careers that you definitely shouldn't is where, where I'm going with this. I don't know what you're talking about. So if you want to be a lawyer, sure, go to college. Uh, I don't care what time frame it is. If you want to be An exotic dancer, <laughs> yeah, your time's past, Grandma. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, like there are certain career choices one, that name you don't one. need. What? Me? Name one career that you go to college for that somebody's too old to do uh me like why would i go to college right now because you want a different job you want a different job but but what i'm, field no, but what I'm saying about? no but what i'm saying i'm not going to be a lawyer i'm not going to be a doctor i'm why? not going to be any of that i mean you could be no i'm saying like me per like it's an individual like situation. five years from now you could be a fucking doctor dude but you're why not you too yourself? old to go if you want to Hey, Mike, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Would you want me to perform surgery on you? Well, not right now. Would, you haven't even started haven't even medical started school. College. All right, fine. Uh, how about if I go to college? Would you want me to perform a surgery on you? If you pass. I mean, I don't think you get to just do surgery after a year or two of college. Right. So I would first look at that year or two. I'd like to check out your transcripts you and whatnot. My point? And if you were doing well, I'd be like, yes, dude, I would trust mm. you to operate on me. I've been begging you to operate on me. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. All right. Uh, and last one uh, is uh, coming in from Caden Lothrop. He wants to know, uh, where do you draw the line? Watching professional wrestling. Dude, if you're an adult and you're watching professional, and this is going to fucking hit hard for a lot of our listeners, I have a feeling. I, there's a lot of crossover. There's a lot of fucking crossover. <laughs> yep. But Jesus Christ, what are you doing with yourself? It's fake, man. I mean, it's, it's a story. It's not real. It's like watching soap operas or exactly. whatever. Exactly. And, and the same people that watch wrestling would be like... Shoot up schools. Right. And, and that's I a mean, bad and thing. And that's not good. That's a bad yeah, thing. I yeah. I just don't understand the whole adult watching pro wrestling thing. I don't get it. I don't either. I'm sorry. I, 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 I really got into it when I was a kid. Yeah, for sure. And it was cool. It was awesome. Yeah. It was and really that, good. And that's fine. I get it. And if uh, you're yeah. a kid and you're into it, that's fucking awesome too. Yeah. But if you're a fucking... Adult. 30 plus year old person and you're fucking so excited to go to fucking SummerSlam... And you're in the fucking front row with your sign, and there's no yeah. kid anywhere near you, and you're like, <laughs> yeah! yeah! No, I yeah. agree. I agree. Uh, fucking what are you doing with your life? And I and I and I want to I want to put Keith Litsky out there, like, oh, dude, is Keith, a big wrestling fan. I, I love you, bro. Is I he? really love Keith. You. 
Tell Keith, me it isn't so, Keith. It's it's not only so. It's it's a, on a, a different level of Keith. So. <laughs> and, and I've never heard him talk about it. It's uh, it's really sad. Actually, it's really scary. I've never heard him talk about it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to check this no, out. No, dude, I goes, don't have any problem like, to, with it. To the time to where like this dude like specifically watches WrestleMania every year, so mm. he can get the newest shit. Uh, and, and you know what, dude, you just don't like Keith. <laughs> you, you need help, dude. Bro. Fucking watch is wrestling yeah. man come on you need help man and, <laughs> now, I, and 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 god can get you back he, on the right paddle track. ball i think everybody's yeah. just uh, into their so own thing pickle pickle Sometimes. pickle ball pickle ball same but, thing what, yeah potato 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 i have uh, i have friends that watch wrestling religiously but he also has uh young boys so I mean, he watches it with his kids. So now. he gets away with so, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, He'd I know be doing it either I way. know that he would still watch right. it if the boys did not yeah. exist. Oh exactly. shit! So he has young boys. That's I all mean, I heard. What's his name? <laughs> oh my god, that's so he terrible. has children. Was what I was uh, saying. Yeah. I didn't uh, mean he acquired some young uh, boys. Right, to watch. right. Yeah, didn't and, say that. Yeah, I, <laughs> right. I shouldn't have to. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have to. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to move on to questions and preguntas. What is going on with this show? I mean, I play Nintendo my still. I'm in my 40s and I play Nintendo and that you could say the I same things Xbox, about that yeah. and uh, just yeah. be like, it's not real, dude, to go do something real with your life. I know. It's like, I'm being entertained, man. Leave me alone. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, man. It. Look, it's either that or cry. Right. So, oh, let mean, me just yeah. play some let me fucking play some Zelda, Zelda, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we got uh, thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday Friday, which is what we're going to be calling it because it's uh, pretty consistent. But anyways, thank you guys very much for participating. We sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, every single Friday we put out a post. Uh, you can leave your comment. And if we uh, use your comment and we like it, uh, we'll give you a shout out as we do every single episode. The first one comes in from nobody because your guys' questions were shit. Uh, but the first one comes in. Man, our <laughs> listeners are going to fucking do. I guarantee our ratings are going up after this one. <laughs> uh, I mean, they were okay. Uh, but anyways, the first one is, what are some things that are trashy if you are poor, <clears throat> but classy if you are rich? Peeing into a bottle. Mm. Why is that classy if you're rich? Because you have a nicer bottle? Yeah. And then you can send somebody else to empty it. Yeah. No, yeah. Right, that's good. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're like up in the fucking corner of your mansion and the bathroom's all the way down there, you like. But you just pee into something nicer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. How Instead you? of a Gatorade bottle or yeah. whatever. Oh, yeah. How about you, Mike? I lived in a basement for a while at a friend's house, and the bathroom was upstairs, but there was a sink downstairs. So you just peed in the sink? Well, I would pee in a cup and then oh. dump it in the sink and then rinse the cup and then turn it upside why down. Even that was the, my pee Why cup. the cup? Because it would help me pour it directly into the drain. Instead no! Of, instead, why the cup? It was that the, makes no it sense. It was the pee cup. It wasn't a drink cup. It doesn't matter. It mattered to me. You could just pee right into the sink, which no. is bad enough. It was t- it was tall. You it should was, never pee in your sink. It was too tall. They're My wiener doesn't go up have. and around like that. No. No. But I wrote my answer to this question was uh, either let's go out on the boat or do you want to go to my lake house? Oh, okay. Both of those things, very trashy if you're poor, can be very nice if you're rich. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, those are both uh, actually pretty good. Um, but uh, taking uh, money from the government is the one. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. That's Get a good one. That's fucked. trashy if you're poor. Yeah. But it's not. Oh, but you get like tax breaks and shit if you're rich. Right. I understand. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a lot of them. I have a lot of these. That could have been a draft. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> uh, next one comes in from Mason Cole. He wants to know, what are the best ways to tell your wife bad news? As you're walking out the door? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, really? Right. For sure. Uh, and or, by, the, by the way, I had sex with your sister. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What about okay. you? Okay. In, a letter, in a letter. In a letter, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mail it to like, at, at, you put it in several different envelopes, and then each one, it's like, open this, take it out, and remail it just so it takes longer to go yeah, around. Well. You're like, I wrote you a letter. <clears throat> Via text message. 
I knew you were going to say text. I could see that. I got I got dumped be- yeah, over a text knew, message. Yeah. Like, fuck I you. Are you. you serious? Like, like, hey, just wanted to let you know you had awesome, awesome flowers <laughs> that I delivered to you. And by the way, fucked your sister. Like, like, are you fucking kidding me? That's it. Did that really I happen? think the best way is to get them drunk first. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then maybe they won't remember. Oh, yeah, that's what I did I today. mean, blackout drunk. And you're going to be yeah. like, what? I yeah. told you all about Smart. that. You saw you saw my wife. She's, was she drunk? A little bit. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, yeah. T- you didn't? Today? She was awfully happy. She was. She was real smiley, and she just got up from a nap. Yep, so. she was. Yep. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. Good deal. Uh, next one comes in from Matthew Rothermish. He's been on here a couple of times this week. For sure. Uh, but Matthew wants to know, uh, rejected crime show plots. Ooh, this one's gonna be tough. I'm just waiting for JP. I am too. There's like a there's like a gay porno like getting ready to happen here. <laughs> well, I mean, I was gonna go there. Okay, well, well, you should. Yeah, I was thinking like you fucking go to the porn store and buy a dildo and you get it out of the box and you're like, this has been used. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking. <laughs> And then the fucking oh, whole, the that's whole gross. investigation into the porn shop guy and fucking... And it turns out turns it was out, used for a murder. Yeah, it turns out he murdered people with it. Yeah. No! Nah, no! That would be a bad way to go. I guess. That would be a bad way I to go. I don't know. How about you, Mike? You got anything down there? No. Okay. Yeah, I need... <laughs> that was a tough one. I feel like that was easier than just winging yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. No, like, I, I don't have an answer. It. Sorry, like, Matthew like, like Rubber the, Mick. Like, I think, like, <laughs> l- like, have you ever seen Lucky Number Slevin? No. Yeah. At, like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. That is. I get that. Like, that is the epitome of, yeah. of like, that's sh- bad. Uh, that's the only Lucky thing that came in. Lucky Number Slevin. Yeah, exactly. Dude, that's a great it fucking a flick. Great fucking it's a great movie. movie. Yeah, it is. Uh, and the last one comes in from uh, from the United Kingdom. Uh, this oh, comes in the from the United Kingdom. You know it's kingdom. Well, give me some tea and scrumpets. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, but this comes in from Dan Thomas. He wants to know if you could punch a celebrity in the face and get away with it. Who would it, would it be? Hmm. I wouldn't cause harm to anybody. I would say P Diddy. That's. An, I mean, because that motherfucker never invited me to a party. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that won't age well. Uh-uh. I have a no, feeling. No, that son of a most bitch. Yeah. All, sort of like a lot of the victims of P Diddy. Okay, uh, who do you got down there, Mike? They didn't age well. Was the point? Yeah, yeah I get I they it. were I get murdered. It. Yeah, we I, know. Got I know. Uh, I don't. I, there's no celebrity that I dislike enough that I'd want to fucking punch that guy. Really. I don't think. I've never been a very violent person. Mm. I was raised with sisters, so I learned really young that you physically mm. attacking people was not allowed. So that's how I learned. Tucker how to, Carlson. That's how I learned how to I'd hurt people with face. my words. Yeah. Some, sometimes, yeah, I would. Yeah. yeah. I like Tucker. Vladimir Putin. Oh, I would deck him so fucking hard. I Kim, Kim Jong-il. I would or the Mikhail, dad Mikhail Gorbachev. Sorry, Kim, Kim Jong Un. That fucking thing on his face. I'd hit him I right would, in his I would, birthmark. I would, I would, I would, yeah. Dude, uh, give me a communist country's leader, and I will yeah. deck the shit out of him. And then give me Whoopi Goldberg. I would deck the oh, shit yeah. out of her. You'd hit Whoopi. I would hit Whoopi. She'd fuck you up. Yeah, she might challenge. Well, she absolute been, challenge. She's been okay. famous long enough that okay. she hasn't had to fist All right. fight anybody All in a right. long challenge. time. Challenge. I guarantee you, I would beat the fuck out of Whoopi Goldberg. No, I don't think All so. All right, Whoopi, we know that you're a fan yeah, of the we show. Know, we know listening. that you're a fan of the show, and uh, I I challenge you Hit into, me up a, on into, Facebook. into a we'll, fight one dude, on one. You want to give our show a I boost? Yo, oh, yeah. You and Whoopi Goldberg, mono a mono. I could do it on an episode. I'd beat dude, the fuck out of that. We bitch. would get so oh. many, so many new subscribers. Oh, would man. we though? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. They'd all be right wing, but Who we'd cares? all we, we, we would get a whole bunch. We, yeah, we just would need to be monetized because I can't fucking keep paying my rent. I know. Yeah, yeah. We gotta try. We gotta. Drink oh, some. I feel you. Yeah, dude. I know you do. So That's the next, so you. the next, <laughs> the, the next episode. He's like, what? What do you do? You just pay it. So here's you the just thing. get your paycheck and pay all your bills okay, and then so put the rest in savings. Yeah. So the, the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Right. Ah, so the, the next, so the next episode we're gonna do is gonna be us three, and we're just not allowed to cuss. 
Okay. Oh, okay. I can handle we'll that. Do that. I, no I do problem. clean shows all the time. Sure. Clean show. But I this uh, this is not how, the episode, right? How about you guys? Uh, I want you to leave a comment and, and a like if you want that to happen. Okay. I cannot cuss. That's easy. Yeah, I know. I can't either. Yeah, I can. I cannot do that. That's totally fuck fine. yeah, I can't. <laughs> all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so very much for participating. And Monday, Friday, we sincerely do appreciate it. But now, we get to move on to one of my favorite parts of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and um, I i guess I technically won. Congrats. I won the last time I was here, though. You did. I did. You did. So I get, you absolutely did. I get so, something. No, you know what? I tell I you what. I get something. You know what you get, Mike? I take that back. You know what you get? What? You get the championship picks, man. So Okay. So you pick last. I like it. You could have literally just put me in any spot. I could Like, that's because you won, buddy. That's because you won, man. <laughs> and I'd have been like, okay. Yeah. Now, Mike gets the championship picks of this week's draft. Yeah. And uh, you know what, JP? What pick do you want? Whatever, man. I don't care. You don't care? Mm-mm. Okay. So, I JP. Pro- I promise you, if you pick first and you pick the one I set out on the porch, I'll ah, I'm not going to so no, do it. I'm not going to do it. You already fucked me one draft. No, I'm not it no, I'm not going to do it. But JP gets the uh, Eiffel Tower picks. That's the ones I like. I know. It's the ones that you're, you're, you're the most familiar with, at least at that mm-hmm. point. Uh, so, I get this week's uh, first overall pick, and I'm really excited about the draft because. I think I have. I, I I think I'm above you guys on this one. Uh oh. Every yeah. time he says that. Yeah. It's oh not shit. Good. Hold on a second. I I dropped my pen. Oh. Ah damn it! I can't. Bend over and get it. I, no, I I, I don't want to do that <laughs> because I'm very Oops, scared. I dropped my pen. Oh no! <laughs> no. No, but ladies and gentlemen, this week's draft is going to be our favorite sports video games. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Okay. I'm all right with it. I'm good with it. All right. You, you, oh, you're fine with it? Yeah. That's what kind of games I play, baby. I'm so scared. That's of, how we of, came up with this what draft, actually. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to start this draft off with probably my favorite video game. It, it's it's up there. But it's going to be NBA Jam. Yeah. That's a good one. NBA Jam. Well, there goes that. All right. All right. You can fuck yourself. Uh, We've got a couple of the same I'm ones. Sure. Did you look at mine already? <laughs> I saw it just now when you were scratching one out. Uh, and yep, I was like, oh, yep, yep, fuck. Yep. I better say it before he does. You should. Uh, but, anyways, but he's next, right? JP. JP, what do you have as your favorite? Sports game of all time. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Oh, that's good. It's gotta oh, be. That's that's up there. Yeah, I, I I thought it was gonna come back to me, so yeah. I, I give I you was, that one. Yeah. And uh, what do you got there, Mike? Um, my first pick is Tony Hawk. Ah! Damn it, you son of a bitch! Oh, I almost took that as my number one. I thought about it. I did too. I'm like sitting here going, right. God damn it. Good one. That's a good one. That's a All great right. One. And That's I get another one, one now. You get another one in a row. Yeah. All right. And JP, you might be mad at me saying this one, but I am going to say we bowling. Oh, That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Sure. Yeah. We bowling. You yeah. Bet. We bowling. Best ever. And you I and betcha. you know what? The, 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 we sure. saved the one that you. Oh, because if you didn't, you'd get fucking. Punch. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's not why I didn't pick it. I, I'm I, sure it's not. But. I didn't choose it out of respect. Okay. All right. Not out of fear. Okay. JP. Just so we're clear. JP. Tech Mobile. You, oh, Tech Mobile. Yep, the classic. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I can't, Maybe the I can't, best sports game ever made. I don't think oh, so. Oh, dude, it's I, so, I, it was I, so I, great. I, I don't think so. It was so, so great. It's good. It's really good. It's good. But you know what? It's better. What's that? I'm going to go with NFL Blitz. 
Ah, it's a good one. Yeah, that was that was Super Nintendo, right? Uh, I think it was arcade was, only. Oh well, no, it was it came. It out became on Super Nintendo because yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember playing it that one. Came out on consoles. I I, I don't care. But, I think it was great either way. Yeah, it was a great one. Okay, great one. all right. Um, I can't. You know what? I can't. I can't do that. I, I like like. There's one game that I want that I can't let anybody else get. Okay, go okay. for it. NBA Street. I don't even know what that is. That's I fun. know what it is. I, I, I like that. Okay. Is that, that was street basketball. Yes, it was. It was so good, dude. It was so good. NBA Street was fucking awesome. All right. So I I got all of my picks. The ones that I wanted, I got them all. Look at you go. Look at me go. JP, yeah. go for it. Uh, Tiger Woods. Okay. Tiger Woods golf. Okay. Great fucking game. Yeah. If yep, I do not disagree with that. I, I kind of do. That it's the greatest game or a great game? It's okay. It's fine. But you play golf for it's real. It's the best golf game that's ever come out. Yeah. Sure. I, That'd be like I, me know, and yeah, JP yeah, playing yeah, uh, uh, like Seinfeld comedy video yeah, game. Yeah, We'd right. be like, it's not the same, dude. Yeah, it's not yeah. real. Like, like, you know, I'm, I'm like sitting over here going, ah, I'm better than that. So, well, yeah. But I'm not. No. At all. Not even close. No. How about you, Mike? Um, does this count as a sports game? Oh, God. Mario Kart. No. No. Racing doesn't count as sports? No. Not when you're throwing bananas at people. That's not real. No, that's not real. But what the fuck do you do in Blitz? You shock people with lightning and shit. Yeah, but it's football. It's racing. You're it's, telling me racing right. is not a sport. Correct. I we, no, I no, I will fight. Him, I, you know what? I will fight you on this. Racing is not a sport. Racing is a race. It's not a sport. Okay. Yeah. What else do you got? Double dribble. Okay. Oh, damn it. That's good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Should have just let me pick Mario Kart, motherfucker. Yeah, I, sh I should have double dribble. Oh, my God. All right, the nostalgia is getting to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. I that's went mostly one. nostalgic on this one. That's good. That yeah. Uh, okay, that's that's good shit. Okay, what do you? What else you got, Mike? Uh, do I have to name a particular one, or can I just say Madden? You can just say Madden. You can say Madden. That's what I did. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I, I'll Madden's give it to you. One. I I wanted I, I wanted to get Madden, but at the same time, I'm like, they have robbed people. For the last 20 years? What do like, you mean? Well, they, they don't have any new ideas. Like, it, it, it is a shit, shit game. It's the iPhone of video games? Yeah, it is. exactly. Like, we yeah. got brand new things this year. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's the same, same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. Yeah, yeah so I, I, can't, I can't buy it anymore. And I'm they never going to buy it. They use obvious advertising terms. Like, we have the newest yeah. iPhone oh, yeah. ever. Oh, yeah. It's like, well, of course 100%. it would be. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like, fuck Madden. So okay. that's just me. But anyways, uh, JP. JP. California Games. Oh, that was fun. Oh, is Doing it, the backflips on like the, the racing BMX ones? And no, shit. it was like wait, like California. Game, there was like roller skating, skateboarding, yeah, yeah, surfing, uh, yeah, surfing, surfing and fucking, shit. Yeah, oh, dude, dude, that's good. It was a great game. Oh, that sucks. So surfing is a sport. Racing is not correct. Mm, got it. Damn it. God, which sucks because I've got a good racing one. Racing is a sport. I don't care what anybody. But Mario says. Kart's not. Sure it is. No, it's not. If you go find me somewhere where you can Mario Kart in real life, in real life, then I'll fucking let you have it. Uh, no. Right. Okay. I what? Well, well, like Mike? Mike is smiling over here. No, I'm just. It, I I'm not. He's been defeated. Yeah, I'm just accepting. Yeah, he's accepting his defeat. Because, okay, yeah, you can do golf in real life. You can't do Mario right. Kart in that's real life. Say. Yeah. I think I should be able to pick the one I want, but it's okay. All right. So I'm a snowboarder. Okay. Okay. Sure, man. If I can tell. Yeah. You you see own, your snowboard. You own two. You own more snowboards <laughs> than I've ever <laughs> used in my life. I guarantee he owns more snowboards than anyone else in Kansas. 
Oh, I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. Yeah, but wait until the blizzard comes. And yeah, then, 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 then who's going to be laughing? laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Me and JP are going to be stuck in our home. Scotty's going to be like, zip, zip up with fucking supplies. Yes. <laughs> Fine. SSX Tricky. Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. Can I get? Can I have that? I guess, yeah. dude. Sure. Like, you guys are like, yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. I guess the last one that I want to take. God damn it. it. It's really tough because I, th- there are a lot that. Uh, no, hold on. I want to I want to I want to do one more thing. I want to see if I'm missing out on anything else because. Uh, everybody says it. And everybody, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go MLB the show. MLB the show. Yeah. All right. Well, like, I can't wait to hear what it was going to be after we're done picking. It was a, well. Don't tell us yet because okay. I might uh, right, steal right, it from fair. you. All right. That's I, fair. I won't, but I'm MLB might. the show was the most accurate baseball game I've ever seen. And, and they do a great job. So sure. I'll take it. I feel like a dude who plays baseball would have the same response as you have to Tiger Woods golf yeah. with the show. It's not even fucking close to real, dude. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right. JP, what do you got? This is going to be a, a weird pick, but I promise this is going to be a classic game, but it's brand new. The brand new college football. College football 2025. Dude is for sure to be a classic and probably one of the best football games ever made. Uh, it, it's really that good, man. It's fucking aw- I love it. It's I awful. Absolutely love it. It's awful. It's not you never even played it. I I have played it. No, you it's haven't. it's awful. If you've it's played terrible. it, if it's you've terrible. played it and you say it's terrible, you've never played it. No, it's absolutely terrible. It's it's absolutely fucking Where'd bullshit. you play it at? Huh? Where'd you play it? You don't My know my house. It. You ha- you own it? Yes. Boot it up. Well, I mean, it's up there. Okay, we'll check it out. Okay, I don't believe it's you. It's terrible. I think it's awful. They 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 lost. They lost all of the the really good stuff that football games could could piggyback off of. It was it was terrible. Like what? Uh, like they more or less took more from Madden. No, it's completely different from me. Are you I sure you so. played this game? Yeah. I mean, how, I, I how many different ways really can you make a football game? How can <laughs> Dude, you make a football game not that's like so Madden? That's much kind of my Madden. point is that they, they were just is like, that Madden, Madden. Madden is, you can run the same exact play in Madden and beat anybody you want to beat because you these plays work. College football. I've you, never played this game, and I don't even right, know it of exists. Of course, <laughs> because it's complete. It's not even, it's. It's I was night just and trying to day. Fucking, it's I, night and day. I, I don't. It, it I is haven't played either day. of them, and That's I was I upset knew. with you it's, about yeah, it. Yeah, as soon as I knew when you said that, I knew you'd never played it. I know. I never. I've never played it. Yeah, no. That's a good pick. That's Thank a good pick. You. How about you, Mike? Last pick. What do you got? Oh, I'm torn between two. They're both Nintendo games, mm-hmm. and uh, so I'll just say both of them, and then I'll make a decision. Okay. The ones I'm thinking of, because uh, I'm this is the last one, right? right. Yeah, this is the last pick. You uh, got it. Nintendo's Track and Field. Ooh, damn. Oh, it, that's good. Or oh, shit. Nintendo's RBI Baseball. Nope, no, nope, track nope. It's Track and Field. All, right, all I'll go day. Track and Field. Track and field. Yeah, great, great pick. Oh, dude. It's a good pick. You got a great list, man. God, I remember, I, this, I remember getting down on my hands and knees and, and using like the pushing track, that pad, whatever that power pad power was. Oh, pad, God, baby. man, yeah. using my hands on that shit. Yeah. That was yeah. fun, man. Yeah, I can it's remember my mom screaming at the top of her lungs. Your dad's got to work in the morning. You guys quit <laughs> racing. Yeah. I am so mad at myself. That's a good one. As I'm so mad at myself. Instead I think I'm, I I'm, I'm getting this draft tricky. thing. Yeah, yeah what the fuck, the was, fuck that? That was that? Hey, man, I'll take it. So. Skate or Die would have been a better one than mm. that. Skate oh, or no. Die was a good one. I forgot that about great that. fucking game. No, I, I that thought our, Skate or Die. Every time we, when I, <laughs> for like 10 years after <laughs> high school, good. whenever I was riding around with a particular friend, anytime we would see a skateboard guy, we would honk our horn and go, Skate or fucking Die, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
So that was always fun. Yeah. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's, uh, this week's draft. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for whatever list that you like the most. Click on the corresponding emoji, or you can also vote on X, which is at L-O-T sidelines. Please do us a favor and vote. Whoever wins, JP, what do they get? They get a full frontal in their inbox. Okay. Of uh, me. Yeah, I don't. I'm, uh, guys, do me a favor. Don't vote for me. I really don't want that. But ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines. Shitty situation of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's <laughs> Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang. And ladies and gentlemen, JV just Fanger Banged my fucking hand. We did the the high five thing and we recreated it for the cut or whatever. And we okay. were holding it there for That's a while. Right. I, I just went. But you took went. too long. And oh, JP no, no, no. <laughs> if you have a gay friend, don't let him do that to you. Oh, shit. But ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines <coughs> shitty situation <coughs> of the week brought to you by, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike Parker. hey yes. I tell you what. I tell you what. What? You are a good stand-up comedian. Thanks. You're, you're very good. Uh, He's obviously been drinking too much. <laughs> Scotty's drunk. No, you're really good. Why? Man. Why do we got to get there? Uh, but you know what? Also, uh, JP... Oh, okay. Sorry. No, do the do the song. Let it play out too. That fucking win it is what that's what gets me. Yeah, dude. It's good stuff. That's equivalent to the uh dun -dun during the uh what's the song? Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm a creep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why I hate my life. And uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Thank you very much for our co-host, which is JP yep. and Mike Baldwin. Hey, -o. thank you very much Absolutely. for tuning in. We sincerely we, do appreciate we, it. We, we, we wouldn't miss it for the world. However, however, uh oh, we have a shitty situation to yes, get to. Yes, we do. Ladies and gentlemen. I, I I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to write down. I didn't know uh, what shitty situation I could think of. So I gave it to these two uh, very intellectual individuals. And uh, this is what they came up with. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. What do we got? Uh, would you rather every time that somebody scares you, you literally shit your pants? Okay. Or. Okay. I like that. Or be raped by Garth Brooks. <laughs> Mike, go ahead. We'll let you start. You know, I don't get scared that often, so I think I'm I'm going to take... Where's he going? He's, I'm leaving! He wants to get raped. No, I want to leave! I, I, how, how often is this happening? Uh, you, this is your part of it, so I mean, I guess you tell us. Well, I mean, you said anytime somebody scares you, which to me, that happens, I would say, less than once a year. That, okay. Well, that then I'm I like, guess once a year you get raped by Less Garth than Brooks. once a year that Garth Brooks rapes me? Yeah, okay, all right. No! Yeah. I am not getting raped by Garth Brooks. I'll take You're the going shit my shit pants. In your pants. Okay. Of course. It's not even close. I know this is going to be a huge I mean, surprise. Garth Brooks, thank <laughs> you so much be for a, being a, like, a, like a really look, like important idol of my entire childhood. But you've become a piece of shit, so no! Allegedly. Okay, so you Allegedly. both are you both are gonna shit your pants every time somebody scares you. Yeah, and you're just oh, gonna yeah, one hundred percent. Uh, from JP's point of view, he just gets to get fucked by Garth Brooks Correct. once a oh, year. Hundred percent. And here's the thing: I would do it even if I wasn't gay. I would pick getting raped by Garth Brooks because I could fucking sue him and I'd be rich. Yeah, hundred percent. I would. I, I understand that. Actually, valid. I, Otherwise, valid. I gotta shit yeah. my pants all the time. I'm I don't gonna care for that. I'm gonna sue the person who scares me though <laughs> and makes you shit your pants. Yeah, I'll yeah. be like, Your Honor, this would not have happened can i it. ask you a question what you can like uh, how big does the dick have to be um like like in order to be for you to be like no if it's as big or bigger than mine it's a no <laughs> <laughs> 
I had that. I've, we've told that story before. <laughs> we, I've had that situation come up a couple times. And ladies, no. ladies and gentlemen, he 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 really is a, a big uh, gay guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, I love doing the show. I love doing the show with you guys, yeah, man. Despite Thank your you. gayness, but yeah, I still yeah, like despite, you. Right. Despite your gayness, <laughs> yeah. dude. If I, I wasn't gay, I'd be you. the coolest guy in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much to Mike Baldwin and JP. Thank you both. Thank you, very, guys. The fans. Very this much. is why we do it. Yep. And For thanks. the fans. The yeah. tens of fans. Dozens. Dozens, Dozens even. Of fans. Yeah, thanks Wayne to the people. Wayne Fardnoli, Mason Cole, Jesse Pedal. All of y'all. Braxton Lint. Garth Brooks. Oh, wait. Garth Brooks. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just reading the wrong list. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah thanks for those of like you that very much that like me enough to come see me, yeah, even when it's awesome. not podcast related. You know what? Here, here's the other cool, cool thing. Guys. I've heard so many stories of people that actually have gone to see Mike because he's on this show. Yeah, it's and, happened it, more it, than it, anything else so that cool. I do. I'm, I'm surprised how many of them that aren't disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> They just happen to be there on good nights. Yeah, they don't good. see me on the night where <laughs> yeah. I eat shit. Okay, and whatever. that makes more sense. But I tell yeah. you, I tell you what. If you want to go see Mike, uh, Mike Baldwin's stand up comedy, go and look it up on uh, what, what MikeIsFunny dot com. Well, MikeIsFunny dot com, but we have that. But w what's the uh, company that actually did your special, Mike? Oh, that's 800 pound gorilla. 800 pound gorilla. But if you go to mikeisfunny.com, it's embedded right at the top of my Look website. There so you, you can go. watch there it directly go. from there. It's an uh, hour of high quality comedy. Let me break something else down to you. Uh, guys, I, I, have, I, have a, I have seven guys, seven dudes that do this show. There are that many of us. Yeah, there's that many wow. of you. I mean, seven including me, yeah. but you yeah. know what it is. Uh, but. We all live lives. We all have our own schedules. We all do our own things. Right. And I, I, I honestly have to say, this group tonight, you and you, are the most dependable fucking people I've ever met. Scotty's I, drunk. I, I am drunk. But <laughs> I want to tell you, that Scott, thank you very here. much for being able to do what you guys do. He's hey, getting extra yeah. friendly. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Fuck hey, you. I'm happy. I'm not. <laughs> We're definitely hanging I'm out. I'm not, after but this. I, I really do appreciate it. Every single one of you, like you guys, are always the ones that I always hey, depend man. on, we and I really appreciate here, it. So, I love to be here. Thank you guys so very much. And as we always like to say, do me a favor, tell your friends if you don't like us. We hope your house gets haunted. Oh, shit. That sucks. If you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Nintendo, feel the power. Until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see you guys later. Take care.